Hey guys, today we're at the uh, campground and we're going to be testing out a new thing which we heard we had to have, it's a necessity and we want peace of mind to be able to protect our investment. So today we're going to be trying out the Tire Minder Tire Pressure Monitoring System. We're going to install it and test it out and we'll let you know how it works. We got everything out of the box and looks like we come with some cool stuff. A little monitoring, a little monitor, and then these are the little monitors themselves that go onto the onto the tires. A little carrying case for all the stuff, batteries, owner's manual, a couple little tools. I think this is so that the signal will reach from your monitor back to these little guys. And then this is the mount to mount this guy in your truck. We got the system with only the four monitors because uh, we're going to monitor just the tires on the RV. So our truck already has a built-in monitoring system for the tire pressure. All right, I got the monitor set up really easy. Just follow the instructions. It's really easy to do and to mount onto the tires. And now I'm gonna show you what's going on on the other side of the coach for the signal booster. Manufacturer recommends that the state hooked up to power all the time, which means hooking up to the battery. Manufacturer also recommends that the transmitter be mounted on the undercarriage of the fifth wheel. But it has to be close to the power source because the, the cord isn't very long. So I'll show you what I did. Here I hooked the signal booster to the battery and I ran the cord up here and out the hole which leads to the propane storage compartment. Ran the cord down and out here because this storage compartment already doesn't have a bottom. Didn't have to drill any holes or anything like that to get the cord to run out underneath and under here is where I mounted the signal booster. I did put four screws out here um, just because it's really not going to do any, any damage. It's just uh, four holes in the sheet metal and that's going to make sure that, that this thing is secure and not going anywhere. And you can see by the green light that it is getting power. And uh, we'll go check our monitor and see if we're getting good monitor from all the tires. Then we're going to test it out. I'm in the truck now, which is not even hooked up to the fifth wheel. We're actually about, I don't know, 10, 12 feet in front of the fifth wheel. And uh, the monitor is picking up from the signal booster. So that tells me when we're hooked up, we definitely won't have a problem, which is good. All you have to do is follow the instructions. The instructions are written really well, and it explains totally how to program each one of those monitors to each one of those tires so you'll know exactly which one of your tires is losing pressure or goes down or whatever the case. I set mine at 100 PSI because uh, the max on, on ours is 110 and um, so there's a little bit of a variance there. Um, I set mine at 100 because this thing will alert you at a 15% variance in either direction. It'll let you know if you've lost 15% of your tire pressure or increased 15% tire pressure. So I don't want to set it at 110 and then it alerts me when I'm 15% past that if I have a tire that is too high on pressures due to heat or whatever. So I set it at 100 and you know if that doesn't, if that doesn't work the way that I want it to, then it's easy to go in there and adjust your parameters to on where you want yours to alert so you can adjust this based on your trailer size your trailer weight um, you can set your alerts to alert you at a certain psi at a certain temperature and 15 percent variance in either direction so this thing is uh really cool i can't wait to get it out onto the onto the road and see you know once you get moving those tire pressures are going to go up once you get some heat in them um so I think this is going to be good. It gives you an alert 
for slow leaks it gives you an alert for like rapid loss if you have a blowout that's going to get you off the road quickly because a lot of times you don't even know you had a blowout and you're rolling down the road just tearing your rv up so uh, we figured that this was worth the investment and so far just by hooking it up really easy easy to install the instructions are written really well and so far very happy now i'm going to test it what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove one of the monitors and it should alert me at a rapid loss of pressure because it's not going to be registering that so that will kind of simulate a blowout and we'll see we'll see if that works i'm at the front left tire underneath the fifth wheel and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this monitor off and this should alert it should alarm it should start flashing it should start um, giving me audible signals that i'm having a tire issue as soon as i unscrewed it this thing's telling me that i have zero psi leaking pressure rapid rapid rate so that's awesome and plug it back in. It goes right back to 96 PSI. Um, the light stops flashing and it stops alerting. Awesome. Now that I've unpackaged everything and installed everything that I needed to install, everything else and the things that you need to mount the screen inside your cab they give you a little cool little carrying case too to put it all in so I'm gonna toss this into the glove compartment and we'll figure out where we're gonna mount it later but um, just on the install very impressed with tire minder and the way that they especially the way that they wrote their instructions because some people uh, or some companies will write instructions and man it's like uh, doing trigonometry but this was step by step and uh, total install less than an hour which is for me it's awesome <laughs> we got this at walmart.com uh, they don't carry the tire pressure monitoring systems in the stores you have to order it online but we got it at walmart and um, i think it was i want to say it was around 300 bucks something like that but when you think about it 300 bucks could save you thousands um, it could save you a tow it could save you a deductible it could save you hotel stays while your rv is in for repairs i mean 300 bucks i spend it all day peace of mind thanks for watching guys see ya super impressed tire minder